Hi guys, how are you today? Hello, Erica. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today, Erica? Uh, so, so. <laughs> Why? Um, he estado un poco enferma. Ah, but it's nothing. Me mandaron eh... a hacer la prueba del COVID hoy, pero todo salió bien. Ah, qué bueno, qué bueno. Me alegra escuchar eso. Eh, bueno, esa prueba duele. Bueno, no es que duela, arde. Sí, un, un poco. <ríe> Incomoda. La verdad que bastante en, en lo personal. Sí. Muy bien. Eh, vamos a esperar un minuto más a que los demás se conecten. No, no se han conectado. No, no yet. Eh, we will start with the class. Just give me a second. I need to open. Oh, it's open. Eh, ¿Estudió las imágenes que envié, Erika? Um, medio las revisé hoy en la tarde. Eh, unas que se trataron de la clase de ayer, pero las de hoy sí ya no. Don't worry, miss. Solo Today. los adjetivos comparativos que uh -huh. se les agrega R al final. Uh, we will talk about that. About the comparisons, it's not just S, it's EST. If you remember the brand of hamburger in El Salvador called it Biggest. Uh. This is one of the comparative pronouns or adjectives. And that, with that adjective, that means it's el más grande, the biggest. Uh, well, mm -hmm. and right now we are four and we will start with the class, guys. Well, guys, I hope that you are having a beautiful day. Right now we will continue with the aims that we started yesterday about this. Um, we will le learn about how to improve our pronunciation with the stress word. I send it to you today um, a video about that and also some picture about it. This is one of the most important uh, to me uh, aims learning English because uh, at the moment that you are speak, if you speak in a flat line with an intonation, uh, maybe American people or in England people cannot understand so well what about is the conversations. For that reason, we will verify this as a little review. Yesterday we watched this the difference uh, syllable that or the different stress that you can uh, use if it's three syllable it's in the first one four is in the second one if it's more than four it will be in the third one as every rule it has some exception and also we learn about the demonstrative pronouns. We learn about the difference between this, those, this, and that. We had also yesterday, we had a little review about the WH question. Well, guys, we will start today uh, watching a video. And the video is for the platform. Thus, I will invite you to open your platform in order to work together because I understand how important it is for all of us to finalize that platform on Thursday. Well, I will play this video. Just give me a second. I need some tools here. Yes, here. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this
¿Pueden escuchar, guys? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay, guys. Excuse me. Time to practice. I will choose today victims. And my first victim for today will be, oh my gosh, just give me a second. My, my mouse, oh, don't wanna, uh, yes. Okay, my first victim for today oh, will be Roxana. Roxana, listen the audio and try to repeat. It's the first one, just listen is that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Remember the the word Q has to be strong. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's right. Uh, I need a volunteer right now. Who wants to be my volunteer? Okay, Jose, can you help me please? Jose Angel Gomez, are you there? Okay, con cual parte <laughs> Don't worry, Jose. It's the second one. Just listen the audio and try to repeat, please. Remember, the strong or the, the force is this pair. Listen. They're perfect. Repeat, please. They're perfect. They perfect. They're perfect. They're perfect. Yeah. And right now, Alvaro, can you help me with the next one? Okay. Okay, listen. Okay. Okay. I like the, I blue, like the one. blue one. Remember the force is in blue. I like the blue one. Blue one. Yeah. I like the blue one. That's right. Congrats. Next one will be Erica. Can you help me with the last one? They are not very attractive. 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 Listen the audio, please, and repeat. They're not very attractive. They are not very attractive. They are not very, attra not very attractive. That's right. Thank you, guys. And uh, right now. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. We will practice a little bit. But first of all, we will do this. Just give me a second. I send it to you in order to, to help you. Record or record. Yeah. Record, Rec uh, record. 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 Rebel and rebel. Repeat after me, record, record, and record. Record, record, and record. Yeah. Rebel, rebel, and rebel. Rebel, rebel and rebel. Object. 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 
present. 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 Progress. 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 Project. 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 Contract. 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 Conflict. 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 Okay, guys. This oh, this picture explain a little bit. The noun hardly ever, but hardly ever, the stress will be at the beginning. Hardly ever. We have some exception, and the exception can uh, change depends of the noun. But what about the verb? If you can see, record it's two syllable. It will be in the second one. Rebel the same one. Object two syllable, and the second one, present two syllable. If you can see, all those are two syllable. We have another picture. It will be the same one. If you can see, in a black color, it says what will be or where we be the force. Conflict, conflict, contest, contest, contract, contract, convert, convert, convict, convict, incline, incline, insult, insult, object, Object, produce, produce, present, present, protest, protest, rebel, rebel, recall, recall, reject, reject, research, research, suspect, suspect. Okay. <laughs> It's time to practice. I will need volunteers right now. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Erika, can you help me with the first one? Complete, complete. Thank you. Aide, can you help me with the second one? Contest, contest. Maricela, can you help me with the third one? Uh, contract, contract. Jacqueline, can you help me with the sec uh, with the next one? Jacqueline, can you help me with the next one, please? Okay, Jacqueline is not here. Can you help me, Sandra, with the next one, please? Com convert, convert. Thank you. Alfredo, can you hear me with the next one? Convict. Convict. Thank you. Next one will be Alvaro. Can you help me with the next one? Incline, incline. Jose, can you help me with the next one? Insult, insult. Jacqueline, can you help me with the next one? Jacqueline, can you help me with the next one? No, he's not here. Roxana, can you help me please? Object, object. Lorena, can you help me? Produce, produce. That's right. And present, present. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, Jose, can you help me with the next one? Jose, 
Jose, can you help me with the next one? Protects. Protects. Protest. Protects. <clears throat> it's not like the like the sub. It's protest. 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 <laughs> It's it, it, okay, okay, Angel. Yet, esto a todos. Una club o un tips o una key, si se fijan, procuren dividir la letra o dividir, dividir la, la palabra. Pro test. Pro test. Y cuando lo hagan, procuren darle más fuerza a la que esté negrita. Así van a poder pronunciarlo mejor. Cuando no sepan cómo, o que tengan dificultades, cómo pronunciar una palabra, sí saben cómo pronunciarla, pero tienen dificultades, divídanla en sílabas. Eso ayuda mucho. Protest. Again, Ángel, pro. Protest. Test. Test. Protest. Eh. Yo sé test, como si vas a decir examen. Test. 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 Que se escuche la T al final. Test. That's right. Protest. En el next one, pro test. Que sea más fuerte el test al final. Pro test. Thank you. Next one will be Roxana. Rebel, rebel. Thank you. Lorenita, can you help me with this one? Recall. Recall, recall. Thanks. Aide, can you say the next one? Project, project. Erika? Research, research. Mm -hmm. uh, Marisela, the last one, please. Suspect, suspect. Congratulations, guys. Glad for you. You are doing a great job. I am so proud of you. That means, or that's made, made, made me think that you are already managed these aims very well. We will continue with the platform and right now in this lesson we will learn about comparisons with adjectives by expressing preference i will play a video right now and after the video we will discuss about it este tema será para que nosotros podamos expresar preferencias ya sea comprando Y también intentaremos aprender cómo decirles en nuestro diario vivir. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well... I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, guys, what do you think about this video? ¿Qué opinas Talking sobre el video? about the preferences. Uh -huh. Los escucho. Bueno, nos vamos a enfocar en esto. Preguntaré en español para no darles pistas, pero quiero que ustedes me digan la pre pregunta en inglés o me lo traduzcan en este caso. ¿Cómo puedes preguntarle a alguien cuál prefiere? 
y voy a necesitar un voluntario. Hola. Sí, dígame. Voluntario. Perfecto, ya tenemos a nuestra voluntaria, Sandra. Eh, Señorita María. Uh -huh. eh, eh, la segunda es eh, para preguntar la prenda que prefiere. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Esa, okay. exactamente. Esa es la pregunta que nosotros hacemos cuando vamos a preguntar preferencias. Which one do you prefer? Ok. Just give me a second, yes. Ok, but also you can make a different one. Just give me a second. Here. Podemos ocupar la misma pregunta, pero diferente. Si se fijan, which one do you prefer? Coffee or milk? Another? Books or movies? Another one could be eh, Soccer or basketball. Esta es la forma o esta es la palabra que nos, o la oración que podemos ocupar para hacer, formar una pregunta. Which one do you prefer? Soccer or basketball? Which one do you prefer? Así le pre preguntamos a alguien que cuál prefiere de las dos. Solo son dos opciones. With this kind of questions. Right now, just give me a second. Sí, yes. Una duda. Uh -huh. eh, para preguntar cuál de las dos. Se mutió, Sandrita. Sandra le puso mute a su, a su micrófono. Hola, hola. Hoy sí le escuchamos. Sí, para preguntar cuál de las cosas, de dos cosas preferimos. Vi que se le agrega entonces ED a la palabra prefer. Puedo agregarlo eso, prefer. Which one do you prefer? Y lo puedes hacer, bueno, ese fue error mío. Fue un error. Which one do you prefer? Tiene que ir okay. así. Prefer. Which one do you prefer? In base form, the verb has to be in base form. Prefer without ED. Question, teacher. Yes. Question. Eh, prefer eh, se escribe con LD porque viene de, de pasado. No, eh, sí y no, pero en oh. la hora de estar preguntando. Se estructura así la, la frase. Vaya, muy bien. Aquí tenemos ejemplos. El prefer con ED no lo vamos a ocupar ahorita. Eso fue un error de dedo, un finger issues mío. Mm. En este caso, esta es la estructura que vamos a ocupar. Which one do you prefer? En base form. I prefer to, o I prefer playing basketball to riding a bike. Or I prefer playing soccer to playing basketball. Ahora bien, ¿qué pasa si nosotros Queremos preguntarlo de otra forma. Aquí entra este auxiliar. Se llama wool. The wool es como un podría o quisiera. I would rather, I would rather play basketball than a ride bike. ¿Qué significa? Yo prefiero jugar al basketball que montar bicicleta. Estas son las dos estructuras que van a ocupar. I would rather and I prefer. 
después de I prefer, you can add the action. I will make some example right now. Just give me a second. <clears throat> I need um, okay, I need two volunteers and also I need an idea. Um, who likes soccer? A quien le gusta el, el soccer? Oh, bah. Aquí, alguien mencioneme un deporte, por favor. Algo que le guste a él o a ella. Soccer. Ahora necesito otro deporte que no sea soccer. Swing. Basketball. Esquí. Swimming. Ahora voy a necesitar un voluntario. Y mi voluntario va a ser Lorena. Eh, perdón, ¿quién dijo volunteer? Sandra. No. Sandra. O ok, Sandra. You will help me to answer this question. Which one do you prefer? Soccer or swimming? Or which one do you prefer? Teacher is swim or swimming? Swimming. Nadando. Sí. Es que es una acción. Es como decir running. Mm -hmm. Hay verbos que cuando vos haces la acción van con ing. Como mm -hmm. running, walking, swimming, reading, washing. Son cosas continuas. No puedes ocupar solo el verbo decir swim. Porque okay. sería como eh, el nadó, solo nadar, como ella nadar. En cambio, cuando decís, she, uh, I practice swimming, yo practico el nado. Mm -hmm. uh, just give me a second, porque no me lo edita. Ok, let me, let me do something, guys. I have some troubles with this. Okay, Sandra. ¿Me puede responder? ¿Me puede I, I prefer soccer o I prefer play soccer. I prefer... Espérame que lo tengo en rojo. Vamos a ponerlo en azul. I prefer play soccer to swimming. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué? Porque él te preguntó por dos cosas, de dos cosas. ¿Qué te gusta uh -huh. hacer? ¿Nadar o jugar pelota? Tú vienes y dices, I prefer play soccer to swimming. Prefiero jugar pelota que nadar. Because okay. I can't. Okay. Ahora. Let me ask to you this. Just give me a second. Vamos a borrar. Vamos a, a poner otro ejemplo. Thank you. You're welcome.
would you rather watch series or watch movies? I need another volunteer and this volunteer will be Alvaro. Can you help me? I, I, watch, I watch movies. But remember something, Alvaro, and everyone. I prefer. Almost, almost, almost. Cuando, hagamos, o cuando les hago una pregunta, enfóquense en este, este cosito, el auxiliary verb. Si se lo preguntaron con B, van a responder con B. Si se lo preguntaron con do, van a responder con do. Si lo preguntaron con das, van a responder con das. Con can, van a responder con can. En este caso, I will. Yes. I, 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 I will. Like. I will what? You can say, I would like or I would rather. Rather. Yo prefiero. Watch movies or series? ¿Qué, di ¿Qué dijo Álvaro que prefería? Watch movies. ¿Puede leer la, la sentencia completa, por favor? Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. Perdí la señal. No se preocupe. No, no me enteré de lo que dijo. Se me... No, uh, no se le se pregunto se que si... Uh, es normal, está lloviendo en otros lados del país. Don't worry. Ok, mister, can you read, can you read this sentence, please? Yes. Uh, I will read, I will rather watch rather. movie. Rather. Rather. Oh, yeah. I would rather. rather. Than serious. I would rather watch movies than serious. Nice. Ahora pregunto, ¿les ha quedado claro este tema? Teacher, quisiera eh, una retroalimentación de esto último, porque en la, lo primero era which one do you prefer? Uh -huh. eh, ¿Qué preferíamos? Uh -huh. Y eso de would you rather, rather, rather. rather? Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, ¿Significa casi lo mismo? ¿O sí. ¿Significa lo mismo? Es lo mismo, básicamente lo mismo. Ok. Porque Gracias. lo puedes hacer uh -huh. con rather y con would. Aquí lo puedes oh. ver. Expressing preference and making comparisons. With uh -huh. which one you may preference. Okay. And con with which one it's comparison. Con este comparas. Uh -huh. Con este de si es lo que preferís de los dos. Ah, okay. O sea, un ejemplo. Aquí preferís jugar básquetbol que andar en bici. Quiere decir que vos no te gusta andar en bici. ¿Qué pasa con el segundo? I would rather than. Este significa que, ah, las dos cosas me gustan. A mí me gusta jugar básquetbol y me gusta jugar, eh, montar bici. Pero uh -huh. prefiero jugar básquetbol que, jug que a montar bici. Uh -huh. Ahora bien, esta actividad eh, aparecía ahí. Eh, en imagen, pero no le presten atención a esta. Ahora, no, uy, this is not the aims. Ahora vamos a continuar con la plataforma. It's time we're to make a quiz. This quiz, it's not about the previous aims. It's totally different. It's about describing adjectives for example if you can see on the picture or and also read the instruction it's look at the following picture what are these things made of identify each one use the words from the list aquí solo nos están ayudando a darnos adjetivos descriptivos for example um, which one? 
this is a plastic bracelet or bracelet a plastic bracelet it's a bracelet it's just a bracelet but if you add the adjective plastic you are describing what is made of we will do this one Okay, I will ask him to you, each of you about the next one. Sandra, can you help me with the number two? Hola, hola. ¿Me puede ayudar con el número dos, por favor? Okay. A ring. A. And the subject. No, and, and the adjective. Which adjective? needs here. ¿Qué adjetivo necesito aquí? Uh, no comprendo la pregunta, teacher. Vaya, es, es lo voy a leer en español. Teacher, Dicen, no, yo no veo la, 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 pantalla, la pantalla de la plataforma. Está congelada. Sí, vaya, permítame. Ahora. Hoy sí. Perfecto, vale. Este es un test. El test que vamos a hacer va a ser sobre adjetivos de descripción. Describing adjectives. We are going to talk about made of. This is an example. This is a bracelet. But if you add the describing adjective, in this kind of case, plastic, it's a plastic bracelet. But it's a bracelet. But if you said it's a plastic bracelet, you, tú eres un poco más directo acerca de esto. Ahora bien, and the second one, this is a ring, but it's made of. ¿De qué está hecho este anillo? Gold. That's right. Gold. Gold. The next one, the tie. What's the meaning of tie? First of all, I need to know. What's the meaning of tie? Corbata. That's right. And this with? Silk. What would be? Silk. Silk, okay. Uh, the next one, the socks. The socks are made of? Cotton. Cotton. Cool. Cotton. 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 Next one. The jacket. Letter. The next one. The teacher. Cotton. Wool. Are you sure? Wool. We will try with wool. Oh, first of all, when we don't know what's the meaning of, it's a dictionary. It's lana. That's the main of? Algodón. Cotton. Cotton is algodón. It could be the socks but also it could be this. And what's the meaning of wool? Something? Lana. Okay, in this kind of cases, the, sh the socks will be wool. Sure. Earrings. Earrings. Silver. 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 And the boots? The boots. Rubber. Rubber. Rubber boots. Con esto estamos aprendiendo. WB. WB. Let me verify. That's right. Rubber. Con esto estamos aprendiendo cómo poder describir cosas que están hechas. For example, 
Um, let me think about something. About a glass. Can you pass me the plastic glass? ¿Me puedes pasar el vaso de plástico? This is an example. But what about is about vidrio? It's just glass. Can you pass me the glass, please? We can use those adjectives in order to ask for a, or to refer for a specific thing. And it's time to submit. Congrats, guy. You did a great job. You have right now three minutes in order to do this test on your platform. I will place right now my temporizer and a star guide. <laughs> Me avisan cuando hayan respondido su test, por favor. ¿Cómo van, guys? One moment. Take your time. Perfecto, guys. Si aún no han terminado, pueden tomarle una fotografía y pueden seguir luego. Well, we will continue. And the next aims will be, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. First of all, we will watch a video. By the end. Solo permítanme, voy a, a mutear a alguien que escucho que tienes sonidito. Perfect. At this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. 
It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer. I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay, guys. Cheaper. Okay, um, it's time to talk about the comparisons with adjectives rule. Aquí está la respuesta a la pregunta que ustedes hicieron antes. Si se fijan, el verbo prefer is without ed. Just prefer. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the, y van a agregar qué es lo que ustedes prefieren. Puede ser una prenda o una acción. Ahora bien, ¿qué pasa si te pregunta alguien, which one do you like better or more? In this kind of cases, you can use both like and better or like more or more in the same sentence or in the same art, uh, answer. I like the leather one better. I like the leather one more. ¿Por qué? Porque ellos te están preguntando. I like better. Aquí en medio de estos dos, tu al momento de hacer la respuesta, va a ir la cosa a la cual están hablando. Ahora bien, ¿qué pasa si vamos a comparar dos cosas? Un ejemplo, voy a preguntar esto en inglés. Y lo voy a preguntar a Erika. Erika, do you have sisters or brothers? Brothers. Two brothers. Ok. Uh, who is um, who is older, you or your brother? My brother. The answer for this is, my brother is older than me. Mm, okay, my brother is older than me. I will use right now the the whiteboard just give me a second okay mm. Okay, this is an example. This is the question. Which one is cheaper, the jacket or the dress? The answer would be the dress, but I need that someone tell me the complete sentence, please. I will ask for... Alfredo, can you help me? Tell me. Okay, I need the answer for this one. And also the answer is the dress. The dress is the dress is the es el más barato. Um I wish the dress? No. No, it's this not the answer. ¿Alguien le puede ayudar? 
basándonos en el ejemplo anterior. The dress is cheaper. Uh -huh. That jacket. Dan the Dan, jacket. Dan the jacket. Ahora les voy a decir algo. Cuando van a hablar de adjetivos comparativos, la regla te dice. Permítame. Que al adjetivo le vas a agregar ER. Es cuando vas a comparar dos cosas. Cuando vas a comparar dos cosas, le vas a agregar ER al final. Cheaper, cheap, cheaper. Nice, nicer. Pretty, prettier. Bigger, big, bigger. Ahora bien, esa es solo la mitad. Aparte de eso, cuando vas a comparar, vas a agregar esta mágica palabra. Dan. Repitan después de mí. Dan. 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 Ahora, ahora bien. ¿Qué significa Dan? Significa que. Pero no es un que para unir una, una sentence. Es un que de comparación. El que de unir sentence es that. El que de comparar es dan. Ahora bien, vamos a hacer un ejercicio rápido porque es almost time. Right now, I need that everybody tell me who is older. You or your brother or sister. I will start with Jennifer. No, with Erica. I will start with Erica. Erica, who is older, you or your brother or sister? Um, my brother is older than, mm -hmm. than me. That's right. Jose, who is older than you? Who is older, you or your brother or sister? My sister is, is older than me. That's right. Next one, Roxana, who is older, you or Or your brother? Uh, I have two sisters and uh, uh, mm -hmm. who is older? One You're... older and one younger. How do you ha. say my joven? Younger. Younger. Okay, older and younger. Okay, in this kind of cases. <laughs> uh, you... uh, my sister is. Older than me. You can say that. And also you can say, I am older than my sister. Okay. I am older than my sister. Than my sister. Than my sister. Than my sister. Yes. Alfredo, who is older, you or your brother or sister? Uh, me. Mm -hmm. I am... Um... Older, um, sorry, I, no, 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 than my brothers and sisters. Yes, okay. than my brother. Remember, we are talking about just with two person. Si tú eres el más, eh, bueno, el mayor de todos tus hermanos, we don't use a older, we use Another adjective is totally different, but right now it's just with two brothers or two people. Okay, next one. Jennifer, your turn. Who is older, you or your brother or sister? I am older than my brother. Alvaro, who is older, you or your brother or sister? Está en mute. Okay, I am older than my brother. That's right. Two, bro Sandra. two brothers. Uh, in this older. kind of cases, just we are compared with just one. Sandra, 
Who is older, you or your brother or sister? My brother. Mm -hmm. My brother is older. Mm -hmm. Older than. Mm -hmm. Ay, no sé, me ayuda. Look at this. Um, for me? That's right. You did a great job. You did a great job. Congratulations, Sandra. Thank you. Me faltan personas para practicar, pero faltan tres minutos. Muy bien, les voy a enseñar una cosa. Es esto. Aquí están los comparativos. ¿Ves? ER. Pero ¿qué pasa si hay cuatro personas y yo quiero decir, saber quién es el más viejo? No voy a ocupar el ER. Voy a ocupar este, miren. El EST. Oldest. Estás hablando, si tú tienes tres hermanos o son cuatro hijos, y vos querés decir, yo soy el mayor de los cuatro. Puedes decir, I am oldest than my brothers. Porque estás hablando de un grupo. Y estás diciendo quién es el mayor. Ahora bien, si vas a hablar sobre dos personas, vas a ocupar R. It makes sense. Veo, los veo con cara de duda. Es un tema bastante complejo, les diré. No mucho, la verdad. Solo es de aprenderse. EST es cuando nos referimos a quién es el más alto, el más viejo, el más gordito, el más inteligente. ¿Quién es el más de un grupo? EST. ¿Pero qué pasa si solo quiero comparar a dos cosas o dos personas? ER. ER en el adjetivo. Muy bien, guys. Hemos llegado al final. Mañana estaremos haciendo un review de lo que hemos visto. Porque si se fijan, estamos solo a un, cuadrito, a un video y un cuadro de hacer el assessment. Bueno, realmente ya vimos el video, ya tendríamos que hacer el, el test. It's not so difficult, but we will do it tomorrow. Preguntas, háganlas. Mañana va a ser un día de aclarar preguntas, cualquier duda que tengan sobre los temas antes vistos. Eh, nuevamente les enviaré imágenes sobre la clase de ahora y sobre las clases anteriores. Hoy en me dedicaré a enviarle, eh, de ser posible, un documento en PDF que contiene todos los eh, temas que hemos visto en estos últimos dos días. It's all of, of my part, guys. I hope that you have a beautiful night. And bye bye. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night. See you soon. Good night. Good night. See you soon. Good night. Good night. Good night.